right. That's where we're on the third, the fourth line. So we had a Braita yesterday, and the Braita, we wanted to say the whole Braita is following the opinion of Rabbi Al Azar, Rabbi Shimon ben Al Azar. So the Gemara says, is that possible? And the, and the Braita yesterday it said, So he rented the donkey, either in blind, or it became demented. So the owner can tell the renter, take it, it's yours, it's your luck. doesn't agree with that. He says, let's say you rented a donkey, not to work, but to ride on it. And it became blind or it became demented. You have to give it another hamor. You have to replace it. So therefore it cannot be the Bishimon bin Azaz, the author of that bride, because he doesn't agree with the halakha. Yesterday we learned in the bright that it says what if the donkey became blind, the owner could say it's your fault, it's your mazal. I'm not, uh, you know, deal with it. Rabbi Shimon does not like that. Rabbi Shimon says if the animal went blind, the owner has to replace the donkey. So how could you say the bright is following Rabbi Shimon and Azar? Interesting. Over here in the case of Rabbi Shimon and Azar, he was renting it to ride. So I'll tell you the difference. When you're renting with the ride, the animal has to see. How's, how, how are you going to ride an animal if the thing's blind? You can't, you can't guide it. <clears throat> when you're hiring it to work, yeah, yeah. so you, you, can't, you, you take it. It might be more difficult, but you're able to guide it. So therefore, it's a difference. Really, the Braita is a Bishimah min al-Azad, and we make a difference between what the purpose of the renter was, whether it's to ride it or was it, whether it's a to work it. If it's to work it and it went blind, so you can still work it when it went blind because you can guide it. Mashiach, when you're riding it, it's more difficult. The Yamara then says, I'm a papa, klizichuchit, lirkov alav dameh. Let's say he was transporting glass. Since glass is very fragile, so that would be like riding, because it's hard to guide a blind animal. So therefore, we would say that the renter is able to ask for a. Uh, 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 yes, that's an exception, because again, since, since the uh, cargo was fragile cargo, meaning it's a glass, so therefore. <coughs> the owner would have to compensate the uh, the renter. So therefore, the Gemara says, that the glass is considered like um, is considered like lirkov. Amara baba baravuna amara baravuna amara. Hasocher tahamor lirkov alia. So the guy rented the donkey to ride. Umet alo b'atzia derech miskin. The uh, the donkey died in the middle of the road. <coughs> so the renter has to pay at least for half the road. Uh, the, the, the meter is running. So the meter ran for half, for half a trip. So he has to pay for half a trip. And the renter only has a complaint against the uh, against the owner. That uh, what did you do? You gave me a, a weak uh, animal. What's the case? If it's uh, uh, there's other donkeys over where he can rent, taromet why does he have a claim? Go rent another donkey. taromet? Why should he have a claim at all? And if there's no other uh, donkeys in that place in order to rent, So I should have to pay. You, you, you left me stranded in the middle of uh, middle of a trip, and therefore, and I cannot rent another uh, donkey. So why does he have to pay it all? You didn't, you didn't, you didn't provide the uh, the services over here. I can't get to my destination. Really, we're talking about a case where there's no donkeys to rent. However, because the owner can tell him the following. If let's say you were only going half the way, you don't have to pay me? Of course you have to pay me, which means bottom line, you, 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 you did go half the de- destination. If let's say that was your... Full destination. Wouldn't you have to pay me for the for, for the trip? So now that, uh, that that you got there, at least pay me half. So the Gemara continues. Mara says, Now what was the donkey that was rented? If he just said, any hamor, I'm renting you a hamor. Then you have to replace it because since he didn't rent him a specific hamor, basically he rented him the uh, uh, a donkey in order to get him from one place to the other. And therefore, yeah, you have to provide him another donkey because you didn't say hamor zeh. But if you said, no, I'm only renting you this specific donkey over there 
<coughs> so therefore, he doesn't have to give him a different one. So then the deen would be, Im yesh bedamea likah yikah. When you say hamor zeh, so then the renter has a certain uh, uh, shi'mud, has a certain uh, uh, stake in that donkey, because he said, I'm giving you this donkey. <coughs> Therefore, now let's say it died. So the owner has to take the, uh, or the, or the renter can actually take the carcass of the donkey, sell it, and go uh, get another uh, uh, hamor. No, he told him hamor zeh. When you say, yeah, okay. when, when you tell him Hamor Zeh, so therefore, yes, to Shi'bud be or to Hamor. And therefore, it's like it's his. It's, 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 it's his to get him to that destination. And therefore, the Gibbara says, if in the carcass of the animal there's enough for him to go uh, 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 rent another uh, uh, donkey, Yikah. Let him sell it and let him get another uh, 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 donkey. And then, of course, he'll return it to him. Uh, at the end of the of the schirut. Again, since he told him this donkey, so therefore it becomes pledged to the renter. The renter actually has a, a certain hold on that donkey, and therefore, until he gets to his destination. So the Gemara says, so therefore the Gemara says, yes, said, if he didn't say uh, a stam, if he just said stam, so therefore stam, uh, he, 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 he has to give him a different donkey. Because bottom line, you, you, you pledged to get him to get him there, and and, and, and the donkey died. If you told him hamor zeh, it's even more. Then the uh, the renter could actually sell it, and and take another donkey t- to get to his destination. So so, the, so how did Rav say above that the maski that the renter only has a has a has a complaint? It doesn't have a complaint. He actually can actually sell the animal and uh, and get this. It's more than a complaint. But he says. We're talking about over here where the carcass is not enough to buy another donkey. Uh, so that's why he only has a claim. So the Gibraltar says, that's that case. But if there's enough money in the carcass to get another donkey, he should rent another donkey. And therefore what? Why did you say that he only has a taromit, a complaint? He has more than a complaint. Sell the donkey and get another uh, get another one. Rav the ta'ameh <coughs> because Rav holds like this. This is a big yesod that we don't uh, get rid of or we don't uh, uh, destroy the principle of the owner for the benefit of the renter. Which means uh, over here, the, the renter does not have a right to use the item that he rented if it's going to uh, cause the owner a loss in the uh, in the uh, in, in the principle. Now, what's going to happen over here? When the Mishnah said that uh, the uh, owner has to give him another donkey, so when we said that, which means let's say let's say the donkey died before he gave it over to the renter. Let's say it died in the owner's possession. They made a deal, he paid, and then it died in his possession, in the owner's possession before he gave it over. Okay, then for sure he has to replace. He paid for it already, so he has to give it over. He has to sell his his uh, carcass of that animal and replace it with a with a different one. He might have to be even out of pocket in order to replace the donkey, in order to give it to the uh, to, 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 to the renter. <coughs> and to buy him a different one so we can use it. And then, of course, when it's over, he'll give it back to him. However, in this case over here, in that case, at least the principle, which means the donkey of the owner is still in intact. However, in this case over here where the donkey died on the road. So what is the renter going to do? He's going to take the carcass and he's going to sell it. And what is he going to do? He's going to rent another donkey. So basically who's losing out over here? The owner's losing his principal. The bottom line is losing his principal because he only is renting another donkey. What happens if he finishes renting that donkey? He gives it back to the new, the other owner. He lost both ends. And he lost both ends. He, he, the other the donkey went to somebody else. He lost his carcass. <coughs> and there's a halakha that says that the renter is not allowed to cause the owner damage, damage to the principal. Yeah. So how could you come and tell me? Uh, uh, really so I can tell you, so because we're saying over here, en lo damim. Why en lo, uh, en lo damim? Rab le ta'ameh damah, rab lo mechalinan karna. And that's why he cannot sell the carcass. <coughs> and that's why we said, en lo e'la tar'omit b'lav. He only has a complaint. The itmar, because we have a statement, as sukher et ha'mor. If let's say a person rented a hamor, 
Umeta lo b'chazi aderich, and it died, you know, on half the road, half the way. Amar Rav imish b'demalika. Rav came along and said, if there's uh, uh, in the in the in the nevela, if there's enough uh, uh, to, to 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 rent, <coughs> I'm sorry, yika, let him buy. If he buys another animal, that's okay, because buying he'll give it back to the owner. So therefore, you're not ruining the principle. However, the score, if there's only enough money in the carcass to rent, don't rent. Because there goes the guy's uh, principal. Al Yiskor. So therefore you see, Shum, uh, Rav is the opinion that says the renter is not allowed to cause a loss to the principal of the owner. Shmuel Amar, after Yiskor, Yiskor. Shmuel's more lenient. He says, no, once you're a renter, it doesn't matter. You can even sell it and rent another animal, even though the owner is losing the, the principal. He's more lenient. What's the mahluk? Be my kamepligi. Rav sabah lo mechalin en kanna. U shmuel sabah mechalin en kanna. And that's the mahluk. Rav says... You're not allowed to cause a loss to the principal. And Shmuel says, you can. What do you mean? Metive, we have a question. So we're going back to the Mashkanta de Sura. We learned in, in Ezu Neshech that there was a certain type of Mashkanta de Sura where you lent somebody money and the uh, the borrower would give a field to the lender as a Mashkon and he would work the field and every year would deduct a certain percentage away from the uh, away from the loan. That was called Mashkanta so now let's say over here, what happens? Let's say the tree from the field dried up. <laughs> now, now it's worthless, the tree. We can't do anything with it except cut it and use it for wood. Or let's say niksas. Or let's say it was cut. So there's no more fruit on the tree. All the evidence for the wood. So it says, The love and the malve cannot use this wood. Let's see why. Which is they want to cut it up and use it for fire. Well, the love is not allowed to do that because it's been mushkan to the malve. The malve has it now. It's not his reshut. The malve can't use it because he's destroying the keren of the love. The love owns this. Anyway. No, but for wood. He has wood. It's firewood. Yeah, I can use it for fire. No, it's not his. But he can't. It was a mechaleta keren. No, it's a mechaleta keren. It's a mechaleta so they will, none of them can use it over there. So what do they do in this case over here? So it says, Sell the wood and buy a piece of karka. You have a way to transfer it. Sell the wood and now put it into karka. So the karka belongs to the love. And the Malveh will eat the perot oh, against the load. And then the end of it, it will give you... Ha'azak Baruch. He gives it then back. Ha'azak exactly. It must be a golden tree. A golden tree. Yeah, yeah. So Gemara says, Ve'ahaka. But Gemara says, wait. Wait. We're not, we're not done yet. The question over here is like this. This, this is the Gemara's metive. We didn't ask the question yet. Gemara's going to say now. Kevan dechimate yovel ka hadrar al mara. We know that what happens in yovel, this week's parasha. In yovel, the 50th year, all uh, pieces of land... Go back to the original owner. Owner. So what's going to happen? They're going to sell the tree. They're going to sell the tree. They're going to sell the tree. They're going to buy a piece of land. land. Now what's going to happen in that the land over there? It's going to go back to a different guy. Yeah, but if within the years he got the money, why well, I got stuck? So I might say that. So the first question is: So what do you mean? Who's it going to go back to? Let's say the Lovez name is Reuven, and the and the Malvez name is Shimon. So Shimon now uh, is in the field. And he's eating perot every year, deducting it from the uh, from the from the fee from from, from the, the, the loan of, of that, he, that that he lent to the Uved. Shalom, I said, Mashkat the Suda. All of a sudden, one of the trees is cut. So now, now what do we do with it? Uh, the Uved can't use it because it's in the possession of Shimon. Shimon can't use it because he's going to be mechaleh the kaden of it really belongs to 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 to, 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 to the Uved. So what do we say to do? Sell it. Let Shimon sell the tree. How's like about buy a piece of real estate? And what? He'll eat the perot, and then after he eats the perot, he gives it to uh, the oven. But hold it, it's not going to go back to the oven. In the in the in the in the oven, it's going to go back to Nevi, the different guy. So the Gemara says, "Ve'ahaka kevan dechim matay yovel." When yovel comes, ka hadra al alemara. It's going to go back to the, the original owner, which is Nevi. Ve'ka chaliyakadna. And therefore, you're causing a loss to the Lovet. His tree is gone. You ate his tree, and there's no, uh, you, you didn't replenish it. You, you didn't replace it. No, I gave you karka. No, we got the karka in, in your veil. So, no. 
There's a bin and a shetin shenin. Hadush. Well, let's say when the guy sold him the karka, he sold it for 60 years, which obviously is past the Yovel. But they have the Hadush over now. The Amarav is not Amarav Katina. Minayim the Mokhel Sadeh the Shishim Shana. She'ena chozeret be Yovel. Hadush. If you sell it past the Yovel, I sell you a field. So it doesn't chozeret. It doesn't chozeret. Exactly. Yeah, you know the, the, all, all that was told. The rule of Yovel only applies if you sold it less than the, the, the Yovel time. Can you do it? But yeah. So how do you know you can do such a thing? The Gemara says Shneimar. The Ares lo temachel litzmitut. That right? you, you never sell a field forever, because always the field goes back in the Yovel. So the Gemara makes a derasha over here. That the reason is because we don't want people to own fields forever. That's simitut. Ah, misheen sham yovel netzmetet, which means if uh, you have a field over there, that if it wasn't for yovel, it would be forever. That's when yovel applies. But if anyway, it wouldn't be forever because you stipulated, let's say, sixty years. So sixty years is not forever. So therefore, yovel is not going to apply in such a case. Yes, sham yovel en anetzmetet yatzazu. Even if there wasn't a Yovel over here, it wasn't, it wasn't a permanent sale. He only sold it for 60 years. Oh, so the Yavara comes along and says, and therefore, in this case, the Yovel is not going to apply. So the Yavara says, okay, uh, so what's going to happen? After 60 years? Yes, so. <laughs> so after 60 years, it'll go back to the original owner. What do I care? Yovel, not Yovel. Bottom line... Yeah. He's losing his principle. So the Gemara says, "El hakabe may askinan bezman she'en a yovel noheg mafi yovel." So it's very simple. There was no yovel, so they would sell the wood, and after what? After he'll buy a karka, and after the loan is over, he'll give it back to the yovel. Finished. Ah, yovel. There's no yovel. Yovel didn't always apply. A case as there. Bezman she'en a yovel noheg. The Gemara says, "You know what makes sense? How can I be mistabra? Why? Is I got the dakos man shei yovel noheg? Who make anin and kanah? Because if you're going to come and tell me what that it's talking about in the case of yovel, <coughs> and if it's the case of and you teach me what you can't be mechaled the kanah because it's going to go back to Levi. Netzalchel etzimev neskele. Why do you have to sell the karka? Burn the wood." Burn the wood. Exactly. Exactly. Which, if already you tell me that your veil is no hag, and we don't care about mechal yekana, so then just use the wood for, for firewood. And I must be talking about it. We're trying to get around the problem because we don't want to be mechal yekana. So if you don't want to be mechal yekana, means you can't use the wood. Okay, and you can't sell it either. No, it must be bezman she'ena your veil no hag. You get what I'm saying? If that was your proof, that's not such a proof over there. Why? Because sometimes the loan will be over before your veil is it ends, and therefore what you could you couldn't give it back to you you could you could have given back the field back to the event. So therefore, which means if the case, I'm not going to allow you to destroy the wood, because in that case over there, because you can say what's the difference anyway? It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be lost in your veil, not necessarily. Which means maybe he'll have two more years to to use it. So if you have no ra'aya, we can really hold that you're allowed to be mechalek kana. And so, the, but the reason why we don't let you destroy the wood is because maybe the Obed can have it for two no. more years. He, really, we could say mechalek kana mutam. You're allowed to. So 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 why, why did the Gemara give the option to destroy the wood to, to, to fire it? Because we're talking over here. Maybe the loan will be over before the Obed. So therefore, you have no right to, to come along and take it from. Uh, 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 sell it, uh, he'll, he'll, he'll have a few more years. And that's what the Gemara says. Zimnin the shalmu shenem mashkan ta mikame yovel. That maybe the the the, the, mash, the mashkon will finish, let's say, four or five years before the yovel. In a me or another expression. The matul is uzel. Let's say the yovel gets money. And he pays off the debt early. Ufarik le arba v'amesh shenem mikame yovel. And he pays the debt early. And then what's going to happen over here? He wants his wood back. So you can't tell uh, 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 um, uh, uh, Shimon to go along and, uh, and, 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 and sell it. I'm sorry, not sell it. You, can, you cannot tell him to go and uh, 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 consume the wood. Again, I'll say again. The Yamaraz came along and said, I'll prove you that we're talking about that it's no Yovel. Because if there is your... Wait, wait, the wood, the wood, the I'll explain. I'm explaining to you. Explain the Yamaraz said, I'll prove you that we're talking about this man, Sheha Yovel, no Kayam. Because if there was a Yovel Kayam, that means what? It's Mechale Kanna. 
So look, if that's the case, what do you have to rely on your van? Just, uh, just uh, let, let, him, let him consume the karka. Let him consume the wood. Meaning, let him use the wood for. The camera says, no. <coughs> it, it's possible that really you're allowed to. Uh, maybe it's really the time of your van. And therefore, what? You can't ask me, why don't you consume the wood? Because if you're going to consume the wood, it's quite possible that what? That maybe the. And, and, and really, the van is, 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 is kayam. I can tell you. And the reason why I'm, I'm going to say that you cannot consume the wood is because uh, 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 maybe the, 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 uh, the guy has four or five more years to use it before the Yovel is, is, is comes. So if we have no raya from the fact that we didn't give you the option to consume the wood that we must be talking about in Hayovel Kayam. Possibly that really the Yovel is Kayam and the reason why we don't let you consume the wood is because the guy can get his uh, is get his field back within uh, let's say four or five years at least let him use it for, for that, and therefore we can say it's going to like uh, Shemuel. Tarabana and socheta sifir out. Can never get to the boats. Okay, guys, renting a boat. Vitab ala baatsi aderik bar menan, and the boat sunk halfway to the destination. Rabbi Natan omed im Natan if he already paid the rental lo yitol. That's it, no refunds. If he paid, if the renter, if if if, 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 he, if the renter paid already the rent, that's it. He doesn't get anything back. No refunds. If no natan, no yitin. But if he didn't pay yet, he doesn't have to pay. It's funny halakha. Either you pay or you don't pay. Think about the best. If you paid already the rental, that's it. You lost your money. But if you didn't pay, you don't have to pay. So you're going to say, what's the case? If he came along and he rented a specific boat, and Yayin Stam. And the wine that they're delivering, I mean, he wants them to, the, 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 he needs the boat to deliver wine. So, but they weren't specific about the cargo of wine. Which, which wine? The Yayin was Stam, without saying what's specific. So therefore, Im Natan, if he paid the uh, uh, the rental, Amai lo yitol. Why shouldn't he get his, his money back? Nemale, let the uh, renter uh, come along and say, to, to the uh, to the owner of the boat, hamra. G- give me the boat, which means you said you give me this boat over here, and therefore uh, you have to provide me a boat, and therefore if you don't provide me a boat, I want I want my money back, which means give me the boat that you promised me, and therefore and and, and, I'll, and I'll bring the wine. I I I'll take care of. I, you didn't ask for specific wine. I'll bring. I'll deliver wine. Uh, whatever. I, I mean, which means like this. I'm able to fulfill my part of the deal. I can still deliver wine because my uh, um, wine wasn't specific. I can take other wines. You promised me a boat. You promised me this boat. Now this boat over here drowned. So you have to, uh, to, 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 to to give me my money back. Which means, right, give me a different boat. Which, or give me my money back. Which means over here the renter's claim is stronger than the, uh, the owner's claim. Over here, the, the renters. Why doesn't talk about the cargo? Rather than it did damage. The, the cargo went. Down. The, the boat sunk with the cargo. With the wine. As my 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 He says, "Don't worry. I'll get different wine. I'll get a little different wine. I just need a boat. The, the, the customer doesn't care about with the, about the wine. I can fulfill my 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 uh, my, my, my obligation to the customer. I have different wine, but I need a boat." So the Gemara says, "Ela must be talking about besvina stam viayin ze." Must be talking about it was any boat he told him. Okay, I rent you a boat. We're not telling him which boat over there. And the oh, the renter rented it specifically for this uh, wine over here. Oh, imlo natan amailu yitin. So in that case over there, why, if he didn't pay, does he have to, does he get off the hook? Why, why, why should it be? Nemale, let the owner tell the renter, havliahu hamra. There's no problem. You said you want to deliver a certain wine. You talk, get that wine, and I'll, and, and I'll deliver you, and I'll give you a boat. Now the, a, a boat, a boat. You don't have the wine anymore that, that, you, that you promised to deliver. It's none of his business. He wants a boat. He wants to contract. You need to be under the contract. No, but you, you, you said. I understand, but it doesn't make for doing what he's going to do. He's going to do his son to Bahamas with the boat. Are you certain? Tell me, Otomat Anshel I promised, I 
can I can give you both. That was the that was the suyam. This this wine. To be at the sefina in a monad ba'alel the kemet al kubes kemes which means I can still fulfill my obligation. I'll give you a boat. What what what, what, what exactly? You have the wine? What did it say? I'm renting you the boat and you're delivering these boxes A B C. Listen, the rent the owner wants to know what he's putting on his boat. The famimu kotev ken ani no sela da this is the cargo. Besedes he weighs it he measures it zip zip besedes. Okay, so now the boat's on. So he comes to Ani Mukhan. Ani Mukhan to give you a different boat. No problem. If, if our can was it. You cannot. The, the problem is you, you cannot fulfill your responsibility. So therefore, that's why if he, if he, if he, uh, if, 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 so he, if he broke the contract on his end, the, 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 the owner so therefore, so therefore, the, the renter has the weaker, the, the renter has the weaker uh, of, of, of the claims over there. Oh, so that can be the next line. That's going to be the next line. Then so therefore, since, since the claim of the Sivina is, is better, if already he, he received the money already, he doesn't have to. So no, so if, if, if the claim, the Gemara is asking, if the claim of the, of, of, the, of, the, of the owner is better, he should always get his money. So the Gemara says, no, Amara Papa, lo meshkahatla, misfina zu, v'yayin zu. Everything was specific. I mean, they said, this boat and this wine. So both have equal claims. The guy says, okay, you give me the boat. So it's your problem. The guy says, well, you give me the wine. That's your problem. So but since it's equal in this case over here, so then the rule is like this. If he paid it already, okay, so let him let, 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 let him keep it. And if he didn't pay, we won't make him pay. So that would be the, 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 the compromise over there. Which means there's, it's, 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 it's fair. It's equal. Each, each, each side. Right. Which, which means that's don't no prepay. <laughs> which means if, if, if he prepaid the, 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 the rental, you paid it already. And by the way, you, 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 you have a weak claim. So if you paid it already, it's paid. Now, if you didn't pay it already, well, since the owner has a weak claim, we're not going to make him pay. So that's going to be the uh, the deal. Aval, what about Bisfina Stam and Yayin Stam Cholkim? That's only Kuzfez. But let's say Sfina Stam. So Sfina Stam is what? Any boat. And Yayin Stam is any wine. So they both, both have responsibilities to fulfill. You said any boat, so give me any boat. And you said Yayin Stam. In that case over there, the deen is Cholkim. They divide the, uh, the rental. Which means if already he paid it, so then they, he gets half his money back. And if he didn't pay, we make him pay no. half the money. Because in this case over here, it, it was yeah, it, it, the, the, the both have good claims. Which, which, which means it's, it, it's, it's both fair. The claims are, 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 are strong. He said Yayin Stam, Svina Stam, and he said Yayin Stam. So therefore, uh, they have to divide it. Which is basically, because each one of here can fulfill his, his, his word. I can give you a boat and you can give me wine. So therefore, over there, all things are equal, so it's divided. Tan Rabbana. Has Sukhir at the Sefina. Okay, Hazak Baruch. He's renting a boat. What happened when he rented the boat? In the middle of the road over there, well, it's interesting what he did over here. He stopped off at a port, and it sounds like he emptied the, uh, the cargo at a different port, midway. I guess he was hired to bring it to the final port. He made a new port call, and he stopped in the middle. Oh, weather changed. Oh, the weather changed. Well, let's see. Noten lo skarush derech. So, the owner of the boat has to pay him for at least half the trip. And he could only have a claim against him. What's the claim? I can be to finish the job. But that's it. It's only a claim. Gimbal says, what are you talking about? If we're talking about over here that, what? there's another boat that can continue the, uh, the trip, that you can, you can rent it. Why do you have a claim? Just go get another boat and finish. What's the claim? And if there's no other boats... Then already the, 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 the renter of the boat should pay uh, for the whole rental. It's your fault over here. You, know, I, I cannot, you, you left my cargo uh, stuck. Right. The, the, the owner, no, the, he, he stopped midway. The renter stopped midway. The renter stopped midway. So they, the renter should pay all the, all the skirut. He should pay all, 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 all the money. Which means, which means for the other half. You have to, you have to pay for, for, the, for, the, for the rest. So the Gemara comes along and says, Really, there's boats. Okay, so there's boats. 
So what do you want? There's not even a taromet. Just go rent another boat. And I might eat the taromet. You got it? The wear and tear the of the boat, which means the guy over here, we're learning, the guy went to the port. Okay. The guy went to the port. And what do you do with the port? The guy went to the port and he emptied the stuff off. And now what? A new renter took over and is putting more stuff on the boat. So therefore, you're, you're, you're basically having wear and tear on the boat for taking stuff off the boat and putting stuff on the boat. That's the reason I see on that. Yeah, who told you to stop midway and stop putting on uh, putting on uh, new cargo? New cargo. Oh, 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 oh. He put on new cargo or he took off cargo? He took off cargo. No, he took off anyway he need to do it. Meant to <coughs> what port? Because eventually he does need to do it. Here is the double meaning because... If you if you stick to the agreement, it doesn't matter what port you take it out. Correct. What did you take it? So so but so so, so where's the extra? That came and now there is wear and tear on back and forth, back and forth. Yes. Remember because he entered it midway. Now you're putting new stuff exactly. on the boat. That was not the deal. Now we have <coughs> double loading and unloading. Uh, now we have double the wear and tear. So therefore what? Because because you emptied it halfway, yeah. you weren't supposed to empty it at that yeah, port. Yeah. And now what? People are gonna put new stuff on. Yeah. Well, so the brother comes along and says, very good. So the Gemara says, wait, if it's wear and tear on the boat, that's more than a taromet. That's a strong ta'ana. Which means uh, you should get money. You, you pay for the wear and tear. That's, that, 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 that's money. And the Gemara says, no, you misunderstood the case, Abotai. Which basically... It's not the shot that he emptied the boat, that he took new cargo on. He, 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 he stopped at a port, and he put new cargo. Addition. A, additional cargo, no, no, exactly. Addition. Additional cargo. <laughs> exactly. And, and, and he has to pay for, for, that, for, that, for that additional cargo, because that, 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 that's obviously, you know, you pay by, by, by the cargo. So the governor comes along and says, beautiful. So now he didn't take off anything off the boat. So the bright is coming along and say, you have to pay for half the trip, which means you have to pay for half the trip. Uh, which means up to here, by, up here, to here, here. The, now you have double the cargo. Beautiful. Which means the first half of the trip, okay, you pay whatever you pay. When it says you pay for the half of the debt, it means now you have to pay the other half the new price because you added new cargo. So, the government says, so that's not that omit, you have to pay it. And I might tell omit, what's the claim then that the that the owner of the boat has? He's getting paid everything. Which means the first half he has to get paid for sure. The second half, they have to add some more uh, 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 some more some more money because bottom money he added some more cargo. So what's the claim? The claim is I didn't tell you to stop at a port. I thought you were gonna go deliver it quickly. All of a sudden the guy now stopped at the port for, 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 for ten hours, reloading uh, uh, more more good. So the Gabra says, Mishum Shinui Data. What's the Shinui Data? Because bottom line, he changed the uh, itinerary of the ship to add uh, to add more stuff. Well, I thought you were gonna end this trip quickly and come back. What took you so long? Oh, I made this extra port call and I added more. Even though he's getting paid fully, he still can have a taromit. He still has a claim. Ina me le ashlayetera. Here is Hadushe. Now that you added more cargo, I have to get stronger ropes in order to pull the boat out to the middle of the sea. Which means now that the heavier the boat because it sinks to the bottom. So therefore, the lower the boat is, the stronger the ropes you need in order to, to pull it in over there. Which means, because uh, 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 um, you need to bring it out to deeper waters. Now, he didn't buy those ropes. He didn't have those ropes on hand because he didn't think the guy was going to add the he, cargo. He didn't think he needed it. Now, all of a sudden, they tell me, so we have a hunger, get, get ropes. We're going to get ropes now. Now he has to go pay full price for these ropes over here in order to get to, to pull the boat out to the middle of the sea, which is hot, which is deeper waters. So he says, you cost me money. That's why the taromed, but he doesn't have to pay it. And the taromed. Oh, there's a taromed. Why only taromed? It's a good question. 
אקזקטלי. לא יודע, אתה לא עומד. שישלם. הראשונים מקשים על פירושו, תראה. מביאים את ההסבר של רבנו חננאל, שמדובר בבית הבית הבית של זכר ספינה. באמצע הספינה מכר את המטען שלו לאדם אחר. הרוצה לזכור את הספינה החסי השני של הדרך, פירוש פנה, אוקיי, זה דבר אינטרפטיישן. זה דבר אינטרפטיישן. I guess maybe, because that is... You see, 11 says that you have two, two exchange hands. He doesn't stick to the same one. אתה רואה, הוא אומר לו, הראשון ושני, ראשון ושני. תראה, 11, תראה 11 למטה. הוא אומר פעם, ראשון פריקם, ראשון ושני. No, but yeah, but you mean, that's not Nashi. No, 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 And he'll pay him for the first half the price that they decide. He'll pay him for the second half the new price with the added cargo. And what's the taromet? Look at Ashi. La shlui yitira. Sarik ani liknot habanim biyoken. I have to buy these ropes now. It's more expensive. Kishay sefina mechabedet. When the boat is heavy, Sarik la fliga el emsa'it al nahar. You have to bring it to the middle of the nahar. Lemakom ma'im amukim. Shlui yegosheshet. So it doesn't touch the bottom. Ve sarik habanim amukim. Ata lo da'atari. שכניס חבנים על שכנוע, you didn't tell me about this over here. And therefore, he, uh, okay, okay, I, I, I guess because you didn't cause him a definite loss. How did I know you don't have ropes? At the end of the day, he managed without those ropes. Correct. No, I, 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 Let's continue, let's continue, Rabota. Tell me about it, back to the Hamon. Ken, the Hamon is it. We can't get away from this Hamon. So what happened? The guy rented a Hamon in order to ride. So what happened? The guy rented a in order to ride. The renter, if he wants to put his clothes on it, he's not going to put his clothes on it. ולגנותו ומזונות של אותה הדרך. And he can also put, גנותו is his uh, flask of, uh, of wine, whatever, drink, מזונות. Uh, it, you're renting it, I can put my food on it, what I need for the entire דרך. You cannot tell me, no, hey, I rented it you for you to ride. Otherwise, I have to eat. So then he can put all the stuff that he needs, his clothes, his and his personal provisions. How's that going to be? Can we eat? Hamar me'akeb alav. Then already more than that, you cannot. Which let's say is I want to bring the food also for the return trip. Uh, that's too heavy. Then the owner can come along and say you can only bring food one, 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 one way. Me'akeb alav because you come along and say, listen, when you get to the next place, you buy food, you bring it back. What do you have to load the the, the donkey? What, 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 I don't want you to load my donkey for no reason. Hamar maniyah alav seurim v'teben u'mezunotav shel oto ayom. Now let's say you have a, a Hamar. The Hamar is the, uh, the, the wagon driver, the driver. And he's not saying with the boss. He's driving with the boss, the owner. The, only allowed to put, the Hamar is only allowed to put uh, his food for the day. Why is it food for the day? Why only food for the day? If, if, the, if the wagon driver wants to bring more food, the owner can say, hey, did Mala. So the Gibraltar says, I don't understand. You're making a difference. Why? When a guy rents, he can bring food for the whole trip. And when a guy's a wagon driver, you can only bring food for the day. So Gibra says, If there's food on the road, So you shouldn't even let the Hamad take anything. More not. If we're talking about a way where there's, there's, there's food on the road, Hamar Namel Le'akev, which means right, the owner should stop the renter from putting a, a lot of food on the on the on the on the uh, because, on the. He you can buy the way. exactly. What do you what do you have to bring the food for the whole trip for? The guy's going for ten days. Go buy every day. There's, there's food on the road. We did not ski alim is, but if there's no food on the road, so chen nami lo le'akev. So therefore, if that's the case, that there's no food on the way, so the socher should not be able to, uh, to be ma'akev from, from, from taking mizunot for himself and from mizunot for the animal. Which is why did the b'raita come along and say that the, um, 
לסוחר כמי טוען מזונות לצורך כל הדרך, ואילו החמה רק לצורך אותו היום. Exactly. Why are we making a difference between the, uh, the renter, that he can take food for the whole trip, and the, uh, the driver can only take food for the day? Again, either no shkiyah le mizban, if we're talking about where there's no mizonot, סוחר נמה לא לעכב. Right, why should the renter stop the Hamal? Let him take it, he needs food. You want to say, do she? Amar ha-papa, lo tzerikha, deshkikha, lemetrach, o mezban, me'avna, le'avna. There's food on the road. There's kiosks, there's, uh, there's, 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 there's stores on the road. So what's the problem? Hamal darke lemetrach, o mezban. The driver, the wagon driver, he stops. That's his derech. He normally takes pit stops, the wagon driver. So therefore, the owner can say, what are you carrying so much food? You stop at the uh, 7-Eleven. However, Sokher, lav darkeh le metal mezban. The Sokher, he's usually a hashuv guy, the renter. And therefore, he is not going to stop off now on the road. Usually, he takes all the stuff. So it all depends on the menhag of the guy. Exactly. He's not going to stop off at 7-Eleven. But he brings the food on the off. The Hamar is the driver. He'll yeah. stop off. Ta'ar rabanan. Sokher ta'amol l'rkob alay ha'ish. You rented a donkey in order to take a passenger. Ish. Not to come on Aisha. Why? Because she's, she's heavier. Kim. Kim, I die. Back then, especially. He machbida ala alazeh. We read we, we Rashi. This discrimination. If I give it to Obama, we'll see what's going on. He says of him that she machbida ala hamor, you're to my ish. No. It's the way she sits, maybe. It's the way she sits. Or the way. Or, 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 right. Or, or maybe she's bottom heavy. Because she has the. Uh, the lady is wide in the bottom. So it could be it's a different way of. So, Isha, Rukhim, Allah, Ish. But if you rent it. Right. Right. But if you rent it for a man, for a lady, you can put a man on it. Because a man is, uh, is easier. Now, when you rent it to Isha, ben gedula ben ketana. We don't care if she's, uh, with her weight. You don't, you don't have to weigh her. Ve'afilu me'ubele, ve'afilu minika. Even if she's pregnant, even if she's uh, nursing. So the Gabra says, hashta minikat amra me'ubele me'baya. If nursing is permissible, so certainly pregnant. What's the question? The opposite. It depends. If the issue is the opposite. The opposite. Hashtag Minika, Mamma Hashish Kashi Mutal Skur Hamol, that came naked. Ah, which means no. Because over there, it's, it's two people. That means you have, you have three. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have the mother and she's holding the baby. Yes. And if that's permissible, me obey me baya, so me better you go ahead to say. It's only one goof. I mean, the, the obey is considered it's one. About a papa, me obey me minika kamar. Yeah, Alibi. She's me obey and she's minika. Meaning we're talking about over there where she's pregnant and she's nursing. And that's how I do it. That we don't only let a mean kid, which is two people. Even that a little bit, which is three people. Unbelievable. We allow her. We allow her. The poor guy, he rented it to a lady, so three people show up. Hey, what's going on over here? That's it, Mutar. I don't move on the head while they show up. Hey, Ubar. 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 The kids are going to Ubar. They're going to Ubar. Okay, maybe no, that's what they got the name. Right, Pizze, no, the owner, because they come and say, listen, this is a delicate or a donkey. It's not cargo for donkey. Now you put him so much weight. It's like, oh, you're making me, you're wearing down to be like, I charge $2 for passenger donkey. I charge $1 for cargo so donkey. The, 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 the I give you $2 donkey. Now you, you ruin it to me. You're making him like a, a cargo donkey. It's not okay for me. There is I, there. I agree. I'm going to be a shmak minna. That the dog, the fish, we weigh it according to its stomach. Which means what? Abraita Kemal Lemda, Shikash Sukrim Hamola Kim Allah Isha Stam, Mutanda Kim Allah Fil Isha Gedola. We don't care the size. Right. Umahash Isha Shemena Bekal Isha Gedola. No, so Gabraita the Fenech Mutanda Kim Allah Hamor Isha Meoberet. Correct. Would you, a fat lady, or a pregnant lady, 
אלא ברייתא בא לרמז על חינוך שקיים בין אישה שמנה שאין לה מעוברת, בין אישה מעוברת שגולן שבר ושביעית. There is a difference between a fat lady and a pregnant lady. למדים שהמעוברת שוקדת יותר מן האישה שאין לה מעוברת, מחמד העובד שבמאה. A pregnant lady weighs more. Right, which means, which means uh, th- th- that's why I said me'ubed. Why, why didn't it just say fat lady? The reason why I said me'ubedet is to come and tell me that even though the me'ubedet weighs more than the, uh, uh, the fat lady, it's still okay. Uh, uh, read 23. Yep. Give you the punchline. 23. Yeah. When, 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 you, when, you, when you're paying for a, for a fish, it goes according to its, uh, its weight of its stomach. But 23 give you the punchline. דג שכרסו גדול, אין בו ריבוי של בשר או שומן. What's inside the, the, the fish, the stomach? The intestines. אלא מעיים, הנזדקים ואין המלכדים. בדיוק. ועל כן לא כדאי לקנותו במשקל. קנית חתול בשר, כן. קנית שתי קילו, אבל קילו אחד זה. כן, בשביל זה, don't get food. The weight, the weight of, the, of the fish is in its stomach. And therefore, if you're going to buy it based on the weight, you're going to get cheated, because you have, have, have to have the uh, fish you throw out. למה היא נפקא מינה? למקעומם כך. מה זה נפקא מינה? למקעומם כך, which means that she says, אם ראית דג שכנסו גדול, לא תקנהו במשקל. אין להם כאילו סיד מאף. So let's go back again. אמר הפאפה, מעובר בימיניקה. So the Gemara makes a דיוק. ואמר רבי ישמע מינה, בנתה הכנסה תקלה. הברייתא כיוון למדת שכאשר שוקרים חמור, אישה סתם, מותר כבר אפילו אישה גדולה. Right, so why did you have to say, אפילו מעוברת? מעוברת זה אישה גדולה. You included that already. When you said, if you rent a donkey to carry a lady, we said, אפילו היא גדולה. Correct? אז מה, אפילו מעוברת? Oh, that's a חידוש. That's a חידוש. No, so מעוברת is like, is like שמנה. So the Gemara comes along and says, ומאחר שאישה שמנה בכלל אישה גדולה, לא צריכה לבריית הנפות שמותר לקיבל על חמור אישה מעוברת. אלא בריית הבא לרמוז. על חילוק שקיים בין אישה שמנה שאינה מעוברת בין אישה מעוברת. There's a difference between a lady that's not pregnant and pregnant, which is what? למדר שמעוברת שוקלת יותר, because she has stuff in her stomach, and therefore she weighs more. מי שאינה מעוברת מחמת העובר של מאה. And therefore we learn over here that the weight is in the stomach, basically. And therefore when you're buying a fish and you see a fat stomach, that's lead, that's gonna get, you're gonna throw that stuff out. And therefore don't, it's not worth it for you to, to buy it. Okay. okay, boys, let me close this here. We have Parashat HaShavua, 8 o'clock. If it's like this, if they do it according to the Shemen, the Shemen is only a shaman. This is the shaman of the shaman, that he has a 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 shaman, היא שוקלת הרבה, אבל לא כמו הדג השמן, הוא בעצמו גדול, יש בו הרבה בשר, זה הטוב, זה המשובח, אז למה? את האישה בהיריון כן תשים, את האישה השמנה לא תשים, אם אתה הולך לפי הדג. כי הדג, עוד פעם, הדג המשקל שלו גדול. אנחנו שמים שניהם על הקרון. לא, בסדר. בין אישה גדולה 